Have you ever wondered while playing a racing video game like Gran Turismo or Asphalt, why do I need to save so much money to get this Formula One car? Sorry to burst your bubble, but you should be aware that you need far more cash to purchase an actual F1 car outside of your game. Model Formula One cars are extremely expensive to build, so much so that an exact price can only be estimated. To give you an idea of how much work goes into these machines, the estimated cost of a new Formula One car can get you at least 61 2022 Lamborghini Huracan STOs. The reasons for this exorbitant cost can be tracked back to the materials used to construct these cars, as well as the cost of development. To understand why these cars are so expensive, we will consider how much each component is worth. So, let's start at the front of the car, with the front wing, a critical component responsible for redirecting air and creating downforce at the car's nose. Front Wing Formula One cars consistently race at 300 km an hour during a Grand Prix. To put that into context, that is faster than a light aircraft's takeoff speed. With new aerodynamic rules introduced each season and the recent porpoising issue that teams have to deal with, a significant amount of resources are spent on the car's front wing. The front wing is an important component of the F1 car because it is the first part to contact the airflow and thus shapes the car's aerodynamics. It is estimated that a brand new front wing will cost around $150,000. The Chassis the chassis first functions as an aero device, directing air and supporting deflection of other aero components. It does the same for the powertrain and suspension. It holds the parts together with the ideal stiffness and weight balance. The chassis serves as the driver's confidence center. This is the main body of Formula One cars and is built to be as light as possible. It consists of a carbon fiber monocoque, which is twice as strong as steel, but five times lighter and with just a single carbon fiber sheet requiring a large amount of resources, it is no surprise that the estimated cost is between $650,000 to $700,000. The Rear Wing The main purpose of the rear wing is to generate a lot of downforce to help with traction and stability in the rear. However, because it generates so much downforce, it is also an area that generates a lot of drag, making it a place where a lot of research and development takes place to find the right balance of rear downforce and straight line speed. It is estimated that the cost of design, development, and materials will range between $85,000 and $150,000 for the rear wing. Moving on from the aerodynamics, let's take a look at some of the components. Gearbox since 2014, F1 car's gearboxes have had eight forward gears and one reverse gear. The incredible precision required as the fork selects the appropriate gear and moves through neutral is truly astounding. When you consider that a driver is expected to make over 2,000 gear shifts during a Grand Prix, you can see why this component is so expensive. It must be built not only to make seamless transitions between gears, but also to withstand the constant friction and heat associated with shifting gears over multiple races. While some Formula One teams build their own gearbox, Boxes. Others, such as Haas, buy them from other teams. Regardless, these gearboxes are extremely expensive, with a $400,000 price tag. Let's do some quick math before we continue. If we add up all the estimated costs up to this point, it should be no less than $1.2 million. And keep in mind, we aren't even halfway through all its components. Let's continue. Fuel Tank you might be wondering why the fuel tank is included in this list. In reality, F1 cars are far more sophisticated in every way than even modern sports cars. Formula One fuel tanks can hold up to 140 liters of fuel, which is the maximum allowed for a race. The fuel tank is designed to improve safety, maximize space utilization, and maintain flexibility during races. All of this means that an F1 fuel tank is more expensive than some of the most expensive cars. A 2022 G-Wagon, for example, costs around $135,000, whereas a Formula One car's fuel tank costs more than $150,000. Following that is the lifeblood of a Formula One car. Hydraulics it may appear surprising that hydraulics, a technology that has been around for several thousand years, plays such an important role in modern racing cars. This is driven, however, by the need of an increasing number of actuation systems on the car to assist the driver. On a typical modern F1 car, 10 hydraulic actuators control various automated systems such as the DRS or drag reduction system, as well as throttle, brake, and clutch control. Given its significance, teams spend a great deal of money to make the system both durable and responsive bringing the total cost to around $170,000. Next up, we have every driver's best friend, the steering wheel. 
F1 steering wheels are expensive because they are designed for the driver's optimal convenience in the most difficult of situations. Everything is made to order, right down to the driver's hand grip measurements. They are not like regular car wheels, which are designed for less demanding conditions and have fewer personalization options. The materials to make the wheels are of high quality as well, and range from the lightest to the strongest. F1 cars are designed to fit specific racetracks, and it's only natural that steering wheels be ergonomically designed based on driver's preferences, from button layouts to grip material. Aside from that, drivers need to keep their hands on the steering wheel for the entire race. Therefore, it should have all the necessary controls in proximity. Given all these features, an F1 steering wheel costs between fifty dollars and $70,000. Before we get to the most expensive component, tires. Formula One tires are the sport's most intriguing and looked-after component. Throughout the weekend, the majority of the F1 crew is usually busy changing or caring after the tires. A driver's tires can make or break a race, a puncture, and the race is over. Whereas, nothing else makes a driver more worried and nervous than a pit stop. Pirelli, the Italian company in charge of manufacturing and supplying the 13 sets of tires before each race, is responsible for the current supply of Formula One tires. A single set of F1 tires is estimated to cost around $2,700. Given that each car is allotted 13 sets of tires per Grand Prix, the money spent on them is substantial. The use of those sets is dependent on the driver's style and team decision. However, assuming that a single driver uses 10 sets of tires per Grand Prix, the total cost is $27,000. Furthermore, with 23 races this season, that amounts to a staggering $627,000 per driver. As a result, each team in a season will receive approximately $12.4 million. Finally, we come to the most important and also the most expensive component of any Formula One car. Engine a Formula One cars are powered by a four-stroke turbocharged 1.6-liter turbo V6 engine. It is estimated to cost at least $15 million, as the FIA set a limit of $15 million for the cost of an F1 car engine. However, the engine of an F1 car is more than just the engine block. The engine has five other ancillary components, which are referred to collectively as a power unit. Because constructors only reveal the cost of the engine block, we may never know the true cost of the engine. So, the actual cost of a Formula One engine can range between 19 and 20 million dollars. It should come as no surprise that the engine is the most expensive component of a Formula One car. Because, according to the FIA, a driver is limited to using three engines per season and receives a grid penalty if they use more than three. This is why F1 teams spend so much money and time developing their engines, because they determine not only the performance of the car, but also its longevity. The exact cost of an F1 car is unknown, because constructors try to conceal their cost of their car in order to avoid FIA penalties. However, based on the estimated cost of the components we've discussed thus far, the initial cost of producing an F1 car can be estimated at around $21 million. Do you believe F1 cars are worth this exorbitant price? Or do you believe the estimated cost is too low? Tell us in the comments section below.